Nobody had ever heard of charter schools. Nobody had ever seen a charter school. Nobody could explain what a charter school was. No property, no buildings, no teachers, no staff. And I, I think that's why there was a lot of uh, failure rate at the beginning, because everything was against you. Back in the days when you got a charter, you didn't get financing. My parents had bought uh, these apartments. That was their retirement fund. We went to our parents and said, we, we want to put a school here, but we need property. Can you tear down your apartments and give up your retirement fund so that we can pursue this crazy wild idea? And you know, to my parents' credit, they, they joined in. They said yes. And I remember just right here, 25 yards away, was that first apartment. At, and my dad was in that tractor. He had the tractor right against that that uh, apartment building and he turned around to me and he says, are you sure? I said, I am absolutely sure. Okay, down. Down. And I, I think that's why it's so special to us because it was, it was a big risk. We were, we were using their money to start off and we couldn't fail. And over the years now, it's much more corporate. And I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing about the corporate nature of charter schools is that you're able to get funding and, and financing. That wasn't there at the beginning. That's the positive. Some of the negative is you have some folks who don't understand that we shouldn't be greedy. You know, we shouldn't be greedy. Uh, you shouldn't, you should not benefit outlandishly from kids. I think that's what leaves a, a poor taste in people's mouths.